How you doing, and thanks for watching Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and safety emergency strobe lighting and equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, SUVs, and real nice 2021 F-250 Super Duty cabin chassis with a smaller service body on the back and a great big walk-in camper shell above it, toolbox shell with gull wing doors. This particular truck came in for a little bit of warning. We've got some M-Power 3-inch in the grill in amber. We also activated the nap-eyed taillights that are included in almost all nap-eyed taillights I've seen. And if you don't know anything about them, I'm going to put a link right here to a nap-eyed manual that we have on our website that explains how you can activate those factory LED strobe lights in your nap-eyed taillights. These would be the LED strobe lights that I'm talking about. So if you have strobe light tail lights like this on your particular truck, most likely if it's newer, you have these integral strobe lights. And again, check that link that we posted earlier in the upper right hand corner for the wiring diagram on how to turn those on. Now above that, you might see our load light way up top there, left hand side of the third brake light. That's just to illuminate the ground right around the back of this particular unit once the doors are open or before the doors are open. Over here on the side of the truck, you see one half of a pair of Diode Dynamics SS3 pod lights. We're going to link to all these lights so you can purchase the same if you happen to have something similar to this. There's a real cool part of this build coming up, so stay tuned because this truck got something very unique. I'll start off showing you underneath the hood. Here on the driver's side battery, we've got some number one copper power and ground. We've got 250 amp slow burn fuse. Those are tied into the power and ground here on this battery, and they're running over to the toolbox. So this is the beginning of that special item. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, on the front door of this truck, you might have saw cat service. This particular truck is a service truck for a rental company that does a lot with Caterpillar. So they supplied us a big old honking secondary battery, third, third dairy battery, actually. There's two in the truck, so this will be battery number three. This battery was put in by the recommendation of... The manufacturer of that ultra cool accessory I'm about to show you, you can see our two gauge uh, or our number one runs from the front battery to the back battery here. We also pass through another 250 amp fuse back here. That way we're protected that that red wire from battery to battery is protected on each side with a fuse. Um, so that way it's ultra safe and we went ground to ground as well. So we basically linked all three batteries together as one large battery. You can see it's going to pass up and it actually comes into the box the bigger walk-in box right behind that shelf through a nice grommet. Let me show you what I'm talking about finally. I know, you're like, show me, show me, open the doors. What is it already? All right, here we go. It's a hose reel. No, it's actually more than that. It's an uber cool Oasis compressor. This particular compressor manufactured by Oasis has factory installed tank and pressure switch. It's got a hell of a honking motor on it. Got four gauge power ground that uh, they recommend going no further than about six feet to, to an auxiliary battery if possible and a maximum of 10 feet with the included four gauge. So of course we cut that down and uh, we went very short. We probably have about five feet maybe between that compressor and the battery at most uh, of the four gauge which with that big old third battery and then linked up front with the number one wire to the front two batteries, this compressor is running very smooth, very nice. A nice powerful feed, give the compressor a real happy life. Now that uh, filter regulator down there coming out the face of it, we may end up plumbing that to a different location. We're still kind of building this truck out with the customer. We're gonna get some toolboxes and some other things that are gonna go in here. So we may move that, but for now, it's right there and that red hose you see coming out of it basically goes up, coils up behind there, and then comes right over here to feed this hose reel. And we did that by request of the customer because he wanted to have an easy way to disconnect right here and to feed right off the compressor if he needed to, uh, for any reason, tie into the compressor if the hose reel became uh, unusable or any of that stuff. Alrighty, so here's a shot of the compressor and uh, I'll give you my hand for reference. Uh, it's not too huge. Got a heck of a motor on the top. Looks like something about 480 volts if it was residential or commercial, but uh, it's a 12 volt motor and uh, also has kill switch up here. But you'll see here we also wired in a relay right here, which is driven off of auxiliary switch number four. So not only do we have the factory kill switch right here included by Oasis, but we have this powered via auxiliary switch number four, so it can never actually accidentally be left on, forgotten about, and run all night if a line were to burst. Kind of an issue if uh, the red hose was to burst at one in the morning and you had forgotten to turn it off. Uh, it would be running and running and running until it killed all three batteries, which for a commercial truck like this is a big no-no. So we wanted to make absolutely sure auxiliary switch four is key operated. No keys in the truck, 
no chance of the compressor ever running. So this compressor was uh, quite a purchase. If you're interested in Oasis compressors, give us a call. We'll get you some pricing and some availability. It's a big monster. It's heavy. It ships in a big plywood crate. So uh, be prepared. Uh, it definitely takes two men to lift it up into the truck. So there it is. I hope you're as a big a compressor nerd as I am, and uh, this was kind of cool to see because I've never actually seen a compressor with a motor this big till as of right now, and uh, I think I'm going to get myself one because uh, they're very cool. I used to use a lot of Vier, um, you know, did a lot of twin Vier setups over the years, and uh, this compressor here, man, whew, Oasis is the big dog. Very commercial feeling, very robust, and uh, honestly, not that loud. Uh, realistically, uh, tolerable to be back here. If you had to be in here when it was on, it's not a offensive where you need ear protection. So I was quite impressed with that. Way to go, Oasis. If you've got a service truck like this, you need a compressor put in the back, you need a third battery, you need some other gear wired up into it, like load lights, work lights, down lighting, any of that stuff, give us a holler over here at Wicked Warnings. We're your number one source for construction and emergency safety and strobe lighting and equipment for cars, buses, vans, trucks, bicycles, tricycles, everything in between, including these walk-in service body F-250 Super Duties, one of my favorite trucks out there. Thanks again for tuning in to Wicked Warnings. We'll see you on the next video. I hope you enjoyed this compressor video, and uh, we'll see you soon.